The heat has definitely arrived. So what can we do to make our homes more comfortable? Gary has all the answers, as always, right? Well, I give it my best shot. <laughs> he, he has the answers about heating and cooling. That's it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so it, like, we went from one extreme to the other. Uh, we did, um, and a lot of people right now are finding out that <laughs> maybe they should add some maintenance done on some equipment, had things cleaned up, made sure it was working beforehand right. because uh, the guys are very, very busy, <laughs> and they're going to be that way for a while. So what can we do? I think sometimes people, even if the air conditioner is working, like you're, mm -hmm. you didn't turn it on and there's nothing coming out, right. when it gets, yesterday it hit 90 degrees, mm -hmm. you turn it on and you're like, it, it just can't keep up or right. there's some things we can do to keep our houses more comfortable when it's like this well when it gets to your 90 degrees and above for one letting you know turning your temperature maybe up during the day while you're gone and then cranking it way mm -hmm. back down is not such a, a good idea you know trying to hold a steady temperature so it doesn't have to make up for that when you get back um, keeping your house closed up you'd be surprised the number of people that open their windows all right in, at night or whatever and they let all that humidity mm. into their home and then they close them all down and then expect in 15 minutes for it to be cold in the house magically it's just <laughs> going to be cool right so it takes a while for it to cool down first thing an air conditioner does is it pulls the humidity out of the air and then it starts to lower the temperature in the house the lower humidity is actually what makes you feel more comfortable mm. you're not sticky mm -hmm. that type of stuff and you know, once it starts to lower that temperature, if your equipment's not sized properly from the, the get-go, um, you will find that if it's too big that you're still uncomfortable even though it's cold in the house. You still, your skin feels mm -hmm. tacky, uh, there, the humidity will be high in the house, that type of thing. So you want to make sure that A, when you do replace your equipment, it gets sized properly. You want somebody to make sure it's the right size. So when it, you do turn it on, it runs correctly and hum dehumidifies. Well, I have noticed, I mean, it's humid right now. Mm -hmm. Like we, again, went from one extreme to the other and you're already, you're kind of getting the little bit sticky cabinets as mm -hmm. they're getting used to. And we did have that couple days here at the beginning of the week where we were able to have those windows open. And I think it, when it's first springtime, when we went from those cold temperatures, for heaven's sakes, it was snowing. What was right. it, a week ago or something? <laughs> yeah. um, we want that fresh air. And yeah. so it's going to take a few days for us to get rid of some of the humidity. Do we need that extra dehumidifier in our house? Oh, it depends on the home a lot of the times. If you notice that you do have constantly mm -hmm. high humidity in your house, there are homes that need a dehumidifier that maybe they have some issues with water that makes it into the ductwork on a slab or a basement that is, the humidity is really high in the basement and then that comes up into the house um, and that's where the majority of your humidity comes from is the ground mm -hmm. and a dehumidifier will take that out of the air and it will actually make your house a lot more comfortable and make it so your air conditioner doesn't have to run near as much. Is it more efficient? You mentioned not turning it way up during the day mm -hmm. um, or opening the windows at night. Is it more efficient for us to leave it at a steady, steady temperature? temperature? Um, if you do let it you know, set up during the day or whatever, however you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. There's people that let it warm up at night. I like it cold when I sleep, so I, I turn my Turn down. it down. That's actually a, a kind of a no-no, but <laughs> yeah, I do that anyway. You are kind of a no-no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, but only do, you don't, don't do something crazy like okay. 10 degrees or something like that. You know, maybe do two, three or four degrees. That way it can actually make that up and have an easier time of doing that. Uh, if you set it back like 10 degrees, it is going to work really, really hard to make up that temperature and then you've wasted all that money, you know, for what, from what you gained from cooling it down the first time. That's so. where the cost swings are going to come in. Yep. So um, maybe we didn't get the air conditioner looked at beforehand. Mm -hmm. Maybe we just didn't even get that, you know, we're not a member of the club and we just right. didn't get it tuned up or whatever. Um, is it too late to do that? Oh, not at all. I mean. It's May, you know, yeah. and uh, definitely you can call in and get a tune-up scheduled on your, your air conditioner and we can come out and clean it and make sure because, you know, June, July, August, all ahead of us. And uh, you want to make sure that they're going to run through that because, you know, yeah, warm this week, supposed to cool down a little bit, but then after that you start getting into June and July, it's, it's on. You so. just never know. I, I, had, I saw somebody at lunch yesterday and she said, we were sitting outside eating and she said, 
Um, I just moved here. Is the weather always like this in Indiana? <laughs> and we said, yes. Yes. You just never know. Warm one day, cold the next. You just never know. Well, right. here's one thing you do know. Call Home Comfort Experts. They can help you. Give them a call today, 260-490-5100. We'll be right back.